Hey people, Epobot here. Recently I was playing some old Roblox games just for fun, and I stumbled upon a model that I used to see in many Roblox games back in the days. This is a code door. The concept is simple. If you enter the correct code, the door opens, and after a while the door closes, as you might expect. However, this model has few design flaws, including the fact that multiple people can type the code at the same time, making it very difficult to input the correct code sometimes. Also, most of these models don't include a display that shows the code you're trying to input, which is kinda understandable, but at the same time kinda inconvenient. So, I got the idea of remaking this model, making it as good as possible with modern features and fixing the design flaws that I mentioned earlier. I will explain how it works and how you can edit and use this model in your Roblox game. So, let's begin. So this is the code door that I made. You press the button, a UI pops up and you can enter the code. And if the code is correct, the door will open. It's pretty simple, but let me explain what is happening a bit more specifically. Here we have a click detector and when we click it, we will use a remote function to make the GUI on the player screen visible. Then we can type the code. If you press a wrong number, don't worry, because you can delete them just like this. When we're done, click this button to return the code back to the server where the door is located. Now that the door has the code, it's going to check if the code is correct. If not, nothing happens. But if it is correct, the door will open. To do this, we tween the door C-frame so it moves up. We also change the color of the light. After a few seconds, the door will close again. The model itself is pretty simple, but it has decent amount of depth into it. If you want to understand it even better, just look at the code. I added decent amount of comments to explain the code, so I hope they help. Especially if you're new to Roblox Studio, I think this model is pretty good reference material since it covers a lot of things that you might find useful. Now finally, let me show you how to use and edit the model. Just click the link down below, take the model for free and insert the model into your game. Next, move the screen GUI to start the GUI, remote function to replicate the storage and you can place the door wherever you like. Inside the door we have a configuration folder and inside the folder we have different values that we can edit. Code is of course the correct code. It should be anything between 0 and 9999. You can also add zeros to the start of the code because it's a string value. Sliding time is the amount of time it takes for the door to slide up or down. Time open is how long the door stays up. And height is how high up the door moves when it opens. I recommend messing around with the values to make it suitable for your own game. At least change the code because that's pretty important. Also, when it comes to building, there isn't anything too amazing. Just don't delete anything important and you should be fine. Also one more thing, if you find something wrong with the door, just let me know so I can fix the model as soon as possible. So that should be everything, link to the model is in the description down below, like I mentioned, and if there's anything important that I should mention, it will be also in the description. So, thank you for watching my video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, with notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Also, make sure you watch my other videos because I'm sure you will enjoy them as well. Thank you for watching and as always, have a nice day, take care.